Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about how to put camouflage on your gun stock. And so of course we've already got a gun stock already prepped out, ready to go. Now, a couple of things about this, of course, this is a plastic gun stock. So we have already went through the motions of doing all the prep work that is needed for the hydrographics. And of course, that's going to be um, uh, pretty much sanding everything down, making sure we get a good etch over the whole surface, as well as applying down, in this case, because it is a plastic piece, applying down an adhesion promoter, and then of course, a primer, and then a base coat for the film that we're gonna be using. And so uh, sometimes you might see a white stock, sometimes you might see an OD green stock, sometimes you might see a brown stock. Um, that's all going to be film dependent so depending on the film that you have will depend on the color that you need to spray this so of course in this case we already have our our film picked out and so the tan is the one that we needed to go with so let's go ahead let's lay this out and pretty much get ready to dip this now a couple of things that we're going to look at is is of course how to get the camouflage on here in one single dip. And so what we're gonna do here is, is we're actually going to tape off all of this area right in through here, and it's going to be called back taping it, mainly because the film does not like to come up and then straight across. And so if you notice, if you look down this edge right here, you'll notice that the film will want to come up and then come across. And so what we wanna prevent is we wanna prevent it from coming up and then straight across. And so having this tape along this edge right here lets the film come up over to the tape and then all the way up again. And so that's going to be the main difference on making sure that we get a good dip all the way around here, as well as making sure that we give, have a very nice smooth transition line from where the stock ends at, and of course to where uh, the, the inside of the bedding and all that is on the stock itself. And then of course, we're gonna go nice and slow, let that film wrap all the way up and around through here, all the way up and around through here. And then once it comes up, touches itself right here, you're pretty much golden after that. Now you just have to slowly smooth or let it go down into the water and it will create its own line all the way going back up to the back. Now, a couple of questions that I know are probably going to be asked and I'd like to go ahead and kind of address those is why do you not dip it like this? Um, you certainly can, you definitely could do this. And so a couple of things, number one, you know, your seam would be on the bottom side if you're doing a single dip. So that would be great because the seam's on the bottom side. The only problem is, is a lot of the times the film does not like to, of course, go up and straight across, just like what I was talking about with the back taping on this edge. So on something like this, we have some very straight edges right through here, as well as this right here is literally a 90 degree angle. It comes up and then straight across. And so that's going to be a really um, hard thing to get dipped correctly, as well as um, there's gonna be a very low chance, I'm not gonna say not completely, but there's a very low chance that, that film is going to come up and go straight across. And so of course, uh, for me, I would rather err on the side of caution and make sure that I know that I can get a good dip. And so that's why you see most all of the gun stocks that are dipped are normally dipped just like this right here. And then they have a seam going right up the middle of it. Of course, if that is not what you want, then you might have to go with a different option. But in this case, we're gonna be doing the single dip. We're gonna be putting a seam right at the top here. So that's what we're gonna end up doing. So let's go ahead, let's get this prepped out. Let's get the film laid out and um, get it in the water and show you guys the end result of a single dip. Let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get this tape all set in here. Uh, I like to use the two inch tape. It works really well for the um, back taping of this right here. And so we're just gonna take and pull this out, let that go a little bit longer. And so I'll set this up here just for the camera. And so all we're gonna do here is we're going to set that in like that. And then now we have something like this. And so now I'm gonna take my finger and just run it along this back edge right through here. And then I wanna be really cautious on this edge right through here. 
and I want to try to get that to where I have a really good edge that's sealed all the way through there. You can see I've got a good seal. And then of course, up on the front right here, we can seal that off and then we'll take and move that in like that and then set that on that side as well. And so now we have, of course, one spot that we need to go right through here. So again, we'll grab the tape, get it exactly where we need it. We'll fold this around right here. And then of course, We'll set that like that, move that around, and pull this back right here. So then of course now our tape goes all the way around. And so in seeing this, I'm gonna run my finger all the way across in through here, and I'm just going to double check everything. So you can see I've got a good line all the way down through here and then turning it over. I've got a very good line all the way down through here and even in the back right through there, I've got a good line coming all the way around, which is exactly what I want. So now that we've got this, now we're ready to go ahead and start dipping. So what, another thing that you could do, um, we're not gonna do it on this gun stock, but you could, if you wanted to, tape this off right here, then that way you didn't get any print in here if you absolutely wanted to. The print will roll in just fine in through here. So in this case, it's not gonna be a big issue, but if you wanted to do that, you certainly could. So let's go ahead and let's get this figured out on how much material we're gonna need for the actual dip itself. So we're going to give ourselves a couple of inches of room. Uh, in this case, we'll probably give ourselves about four inches here, and then we'll roll it over and give ourselves maybe another four inches here. Now, this is being very, very generous, but those extra inches on each side is going to help alleviate a little bit, not all, but a little bit of that stretch going up into this gun stock right through there. So in this case, we'll put our line right there. So we'll set that back like that. And then of course, we'll cut this all the way through there. And so now that we have that, now we're ready to go ahead, lay this in the water, and of course, get to dipping and show you guys the end result. So let's get started. All right, now that we've got that in the water, we'll go ahead and let this expand the way that it needs to. Once it's expanded, now it will slowly shrink back in. Now again, this film is going to do that. Other films, of course, will not. So you definitely have to make sure that you know what film you're dealing with, as well as the properties of how the film's gonna react in the water. So in this case right here, we've got our timer set for about a minute and we've got it in the water at 80 to 90 degrees. Right now we're sitting at about 85. And so of course, once we have that, now we can go ahead and contain this and then get ready for the dip itself. All right, so we've just got this dipped and it came out looking really good. Now, if you'll notice, we have, if I can hold this here, we have a very nice line going all the way up the top side of this, which is exactly what we wanted. And of course, the tape did exactly what it needed to do. It went from here and wrapped all the way around, really nice and good, all the way around, all of that, which is exactly what we wanted. So. 
Um, you know, of course, as you saw in the video, whenever we were dipping it, we held it at a little bit of an angle. We didn't want to go straight, but we held it at just a little bit of an angle like that and pretty much just went straight down with it. Nice, smooth, and slow motion. And we got a very good dip all the way around. Um, so of course, we'll go ahead, we'll get this rinsed off, do any necessary touch-ups that might need to be done on it. And then of course, we can go ahead and clear coat it. Of course, if you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks, as well as check out the website. It has tons of information on everything that you're gonna need for the hydrographics process. So I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.